be to Jesus Christ. This great day, Monday Thursday, is celebrated as the day in which Jesus gave the commandment of love. Love one another as I have loved you. By washing the feet of his disciples, Jesus was summarizing his entire life. In bending down to wash the feet of his disciples, Jesus brings together all that he was, all that he is, and all that he does. Jesus said what he did. And so, on this day, we are called through this event of the washing of the feet to have an introspection and ask ourselves, is my love better exchange? Do I expect something more in return for my love? And even as Jesus washed the feet of Judas and Peter, he was loving, forgiving and accepting them. This is the true meaning of forgiveness. This is the true meaning of love and this is the true meaning of human life. By the very act of washing the feet, Jesus offered a sign of friendship, intimacy and fidelity to his disciples and all those who believed in him. But Judas chooses distance, betrayal and infidelity. Though Jesus knows who will betray him, he still reaches out in love and friendship. There are numerous times in our lives when things do not go the way we plan. It is at times like this that we are tempted to throw in the towel like Judas and Peter did. Remaining with Jesus, following his command of love and living the life that he demands is thus not an easy task. While Judas' betrayal may be seen as a dramatic and extreme case of refusing to remain with Jesus and follow his commandments, the denial by Peter indicates that every disciple is at the risk of failure if he depends on his own strength and not enough on the Lord. This great celebration is an invitation for all of us to stay with Jesus to remain with him at every step of our life, especially in the moments of struggles and challenges. I wish you all, all the blessings of this great day.